This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Can you guys work on the low-ground miles? You guys look at this one. Here we got a short distance. If we had a park or a golf course or we have thousands of feet of wire, one wire, one wire connection, the four wire connection would be all it takes to get about not to get enough power. Um, so our wires are long enough here. Let's just eliminate and then if you look down there, there's another splice with add a wire nut connection on this one here. That came with band, right? That's the wire side with no tape. Here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know when the last time they worked on these valves, but if you were going to do a job and you're troubleshooting, you know what? I gotta get the wire connections right first before I can move along. So yeah. Like, hey, you know what? There's so many wire connections so so entangled in here. I gotta straighten out before I can even troubleshoot it. I think he has some sun on these. It's a place to sun. Okay. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four. Four splices in our wire there. Solid copper wire, not this stranded stuff. So every time, like you see, we have we're using some poor wire strippers here. Every one you cut off when you're doing it, you just increase the resistance. So that was pretty good. Um, we're working with our valves a little ground. Um, we want to use. Gel coated, wireproof, wireness. They had a little grease in there to keep it from corroding. The no ground, probably go to balance all the time because it's about much full of water. Right? So that'll pass you short. Troubleshooting, we got our common white here. And this place is into the other box here. Simpler way than get a meter dialing in. Hey. 24 
we'll take Para the time. Para this is also good for checking your solenoids, make sure they're good. Um, That's when you're, when you turn on the, the whole power you're saying it's connected, you put that to the ceiling. Well, if you're not one. sure if, the, if you're getting 24 volts to the valve, but you know which wire it is, you can hook up the 24 volt if that light green comes, that light comes down, you get 24 volts here. But then you say, okay, let me check my solenoid. So once we verify we got 24 volts at the valves. So that's the other one. Oh, it'll act. Oh, it's over there. Um, it's over there. So it'll turn on 24. It'll send 24 volts to it, and it's hard to see what the good light is on. Uh, short electrical, it could be the wires are contacted inside the coil. Oh, no, just, tell you right there? Yeah. Short out or if it's good. Or if it's good. Open means it's wire, wire inside the solenoid. Or same with if you were to touch two lengths of wire together, then the type of wire is good, short, open. So, this one here, if we didn't, if you didn't know the ohm resistance values on the solenoid, because each manufacturer is going to be different. Air mm -hmm. solenoid, Hydra Rain, Toro. It's gonna be different. You can activate the solenoid. So I know my power is good. My solenoid is working because you can see it's on now. It might just be a bad wire connection. So now we can repair the wire connection. We'll be good. Okay. Easy handy one to have there. Uh, main thing with this one. Switch left and right. Make sure it's in the off position. If you leave it on, we'll bring the battery. 